a KQED television production. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna. Great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. We have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, copy editor Megan Clark seeks out yummy stories and tasty travelogues that must be fully researched. Oh, such tough assignments. Former Stanford and Cal football coach Joe Martin was tossing around ideas that led to a stint assisting local kindergarten classes, a volunteer touchdown. But first, marketing director Lisa Matson swapped her simple Midwest taste buds for a refined West Coast palate. Now a delightfully rustic corner lot houses the quintessential wine country menu of her pick. In Healdsburg, it's called Valette. This is Healdsburg, the mecca for food and wine. The best quality wineries out here, some up and coming chefs. This is heaven. Fondue of fennel. My name is Dustin Vallette, I'm the chef owner of Vallette Restaurants. So the restaurant right here is actually owned by my great grandfather back in the 40s. It used to be a bakery back then, and then it was a hardware store, and we bought it to put the restaurant back into what the family initially thought of. A small local restaurant showcasing the best of Sonoma County, and really just having a good, simple approach to new fresh food. We're simple, we're food. We're good old fashioned, American-esque with a European rooted food. Our cuisine is very hard to say it's what kind it is, except for delicious. This is a family run business here at Villette. We have my oldest brother made the charcuterie box. My other brother runs front of the house. I do the kitchen. My mom helps do the books. Dad is our ambassador. This is a good old fashioned family run business. Our wine program focuses on Sonoma County, but we definitely wanted to have representation in all the great wine growing regions of the world. Our cocktail program focuses on small batch spirits uh, paired with house infused liqueurs to try and create a complex and balanced cocktail. We're so fortunate to hire the best servers, the best cooks, best everyone. And that's what I think restaurants miss. There's synergy, there's harmony, and people feel like they came home, they're home again. So this is my home and welcome to it. All right, Lisa, this place has become a true hot spot in wine country, a real destination, hasn't it? It absolutely has, and it is a bit of a homecoming for Chef Dustin Vallette. He grew up in Geyserville, just north of Healdsburg, and then he spent time working in kitchens where celebrity chefs like Michael Mina, Thomas Keller, at Charlie Palmer, as well as working in Hawaii at one point, and now he's come back home to start his own restaurant with his family, with his brother. With yeah. his brother. And so what is your go-to dish? I usually always kick off with the charcuterie because it is that focal point. Um, Dustin's one of the few chefs that can make his own charcuterie in-house. 
and I love um, the different textures of the different meats that he plays with and the fact that it's not too salty. They also make their own mustards and they serve three different mustards with the charcuterie and they also put some local cheeses on it. You so. gotta have mustard with your meat. What do you think about <laughs> that, Joe? I thought it was a great place, destination place for sure. It's a uh, place to see and be seen in the wine country and we got there at five o'clock. By 5.30 it was packed. I had the most unique onion soup I've ever had. It came out in a large bowl and then this little slab of something there and I was looking for the traditional onion soup and they'd warned me ahead of time, but it was not. Then they did a puree which they poured over it and it turned out to be one of the best soups I've ever eaten. But the thing I was a little concerned about going to Valette, because I'm not a foodie, I'm an eater. <laughs> and they give you ample <laughs> servings there. It was a, I had the New York steak and he did a bone marrow glaze on top of it. Mm. The steak was absolutely cooked to perfection. Mm -hmm. So we drove in from the city. So we got there a little bit later. So I actually thought we had an 8 p.m. reservation. So by 9 p.m. the place was like totally deserted. I was really surprised, but I totally got that family feel like the chef coming and greeting everyone. I loved that. Healdsburg is not a, an overly yeah. late night town. Yeah. So. Oh, it's a quiet city. I <laughs> kind of expected spot. that, but it, you know, it's, and it wasn't even on the main square. So, you know, you kind of expect that. But we started with, they had a foie gras special that we started with, and it was so, such a unique combination. They had some cranberry sauce, they had some really unique shavings, and the crostini made it such a unique combination. It was flavor profile that I'd never expect. And then and with the nuts, right? They yeah. Like the blistered yeah. nuts on it. I love that about yeah. the foie gras. And then we got the scallop dish as well, and it, that presentation where it comes out in the in croute, and it's so beautiful and the scallops were cooked perfectly and you kind of just want more, but it's the perfect starter. Yeah, yeah the, the sauce on the scallop on crew has my three favorite seeds in it. It's Chardonnay, caviar and champagne. It's well, there's a there's block sauce. Yeah. And then they pour that into the scallop on crew. It's absolutely yeah. delicious. Most recently I had the lamb bacon. I think this is one of the best lamb bacons that he's ever done. It has a parsnip puree with this beautiful creaminess under the lamb bacon. It's sous vide for 60 hours, but I just love the texture of it. It's got a little bit of crunch, you know, outside to the skin and these kimchi flash fried little Brussels sprouts that were around the outside mm. that gave this great crunch to it. The lamb bacon was a little too smoky for me. I kind of just felt like it was overpowering, but the duck breast was sensational though. The presentation alone was stunning. Cooked to perfection, the crust itself was salty, so when you got a full bite of the salty crust with the deck breast, it was like the perfect combination, so I, I really liked that. When uh, Dustin came by and says, I've got something for you for dessert, and he gave me this chocolate dessert, which I still to this day can't describe it, other than it's a melding of three different types of chocolates, and it was outstanding. The chocolate it, block is what you're talking yes. about. I think it's an amazing dessert. Yeah. Um, they also just added a new one that I love because I don't like su super sweet desserts, and it's an olive oil cake mm -hmm. with this, he calls it like orange creamsicle or yeah, some sort of sauce with a winter citrus, and I just, I loved it because I felt like it wasn't too sweet. No. I agree, I wanted more cake. It was a very small slice for the, cost and so I, I wish that there had been a little bit more cake but it was you know great. The servers there know their wines, not just Sonoma County wines, but French wines and some other wines in the world, and they're they're not afraid to right. offer suggestions. And let's talk about that because their wine list is lovely, and it's obviously you know focused on Sonoma County. You have a lot of really little small producers. I thought that the way they presented the wine list was a little odd on the iPad. It seemed like it didn't really fit with the kind of rustic theme. I was but like, so many people are heading towards that direction. I And I do um, love that usually, but. Yeah, I like their iPad um, wine list. We actually made our choices based on what we read on yeah. the iPad and was like, that sounds interesting. And both of our cocktails were fantastic. And no corkies for you is very kind about that. And the service is impeccable. I mean, there, this absolutely, I thought it was uh, a very inexpensive restaurant to go to for what you got. The location was perfect because it was off the strip. Parking was easy and it was lively. And the two hours that we were there were never Never rushed. Everybody knew everybody. It was the place to go and be seen in uh, Hillsburg and the Sonoma County area. All right. Well, Lisa, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. This is where I would take anybody who's coming in from out of town. It's really eclectic flavors, really delicious, fun family spot, bustling, and great cocktails. All right. And Joe? Destination place, highly recommended, best place in the wine country, and very inexpensive, I thought, for the value. And Megan? Fun, modern, aesthetic, and um, excellent food. 
All right, if you would like to try Valette, it's located on center at North Street in Healdsburg. The telephone number is 707-473-0946. It's open every evening for dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. Now for something completely different. Megan's Pick is a fully automated spot with fresh and healthy bowls delivered in style. There isn't a server in sight. In San Francisco at Itza. San Franciscans love to try new things. Itza is an amazing new kind of fast food experience. This is all about the taste. Technology allows the customer to get food at an unprecedented speed. It's nutritious and healthy, and it's unlike anything that's out there right now in fast food. Hi, I'm Scott Drummond, and welcome to Itza. Our Cubbies love their customers. That's what's great about this. It's a place where their name is there, they tap, they take their food. The Cubby is a personalized point of interaction for the customer. Quinoa is incredibly popular now because it's an amazing source of protein. It happens to be a seed, not a grain. Ours are incredibly savory, very flavorful, and create a taste profile that's more like traditional fast food in terms of its craveability. So we ended up selecting Bolivian quinoa for our menu. It's got a larger seed size than Peruvian. And in the process of finding the right supplier, we ended up selecting our quinoa from a co-op in Bolivia. These co-ops are doing a great job of ensuring that the increased demand in quinoa is also resulting in increased prosperity for the villages. And it's a chance for us to create incredibly healthy, nutritious food at a very reasonable price point. In the process, we're going to make healthy food accessible for more people. Okay, Megan, we've never had a place like this on the show. <laughs> I'm not sure there has been a right. place like yeah. this around. <laughs> this is fully automated. You don't actually have to speak to a human being when you go and order your lunch. You order your food on an iPad, you get LED screens and touch screens when your order is ready, so there isn't really much human interaction. And it's all really healthy vegetarian bowls, but it's so reasonably priced for downtown. Finding something under 15 or $10 for lunch in San Francisco is pretty difficult, especially um, a hearty meal. Everything is always really satisfying and there's always so many unique options. You can kind of personalize it to your taste and when you walk up there and slide your credit card into the iPad, they already know you, so it's like you're a welcomed customer. I had no preconceived notion of what it would be like. I wanted to just be surprised and when I got there and I saw this long line out with the little sign, I'm like, oh my God, this place is gonna be really cool. Like there's so many people here waiting. Kind of felt like an Apple store, you know, there's like the big screens, but I was like, hey, they did a good job on the food photography. The bowls look really pretty. I wanted to ask the lady for help because it's kind of weird, but it was like, I went there for a business meeting. I ended up meeting with a friend who's not the way this place should work. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Then I felt a little um, rushed because I'm going up to the iPad for the first time and there's this long line of people. Then you feel like I need to go faster because this is a place where people come in, they do their thing they're and, their lunch they, and, they're, and they're going. Feel old. Yeah, I felt, I felt old. I did feel really old. Yeah, you're over 30 year old. Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> I'm 41 and I was yeah. like, uh, I know how an yeah. iPad works, but I'm feeling rushed. How many people are there Where's behind me? What, uh, what am I supposed to do? And then it was like, oh, but they told me everything I was supposed to yeah. do. They so make what did you have to eat? We ordered three different bowls to share between the two of us just so we could try a few things. I did the no worry curry bowl. My friend had the Mediterranean bowl and then I ordered the burrito bowl for good measure. And I would say the curry bowl, I like that they have crunchies on top of the bowls. So the curry bowl comes with I think, parsnip crunchies on top. And I mean, the flavors were good, it was fresh, but like she's saying, it's only 6.95. So I think for the money, you're getting pretty good flavor and fresh ingredients for what you get. All right, Joe. Okay, old man. <laughs> it was a lot like being in Osaka, because they have these all over the place, and we both immediately said, we're the oldest people here by 30 years. <laughs> so if you're there, you're working in the area, and you want to take your food and go back to a cubicle, is what I saw a lot of people yeah. doing. Yeah. It's a perfect setup. If you're vegetarian, it's perfect. It's very well priced. But again, I'm not a quinoa person, and uh, it was fine. I felt like I had, I had the burrito thing, but there was no chicken or meat in it, so that was a little weird. And a citrus drink, which was real acidic, but I know it was healthy. So I 
felt like if I ate there every day instead of my normal places for lunch, I'd probably lose 20 pounds. In <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you usually get? Did they I, order the right things? They did, actually. Okay. I'm, I'm very impressed. It's a lot of options. I like the burrito bowl. I can make it into two meals. The portobello mushrooms feel like, you know, a lot. It's a little bit heartier. And the Mediterranean is also one of my favorites. It's very light. It's filling. It's got a lot of vegetables in it. There's always feta and olives. You know, it's got the fresh lettuce on the bottom. Mix it up in that easy to go container. So you're a shaker. Am I a shaker? Yes. Shake it up is just, you know, grab the bowl and give it a shake. But our customers also like it when it's all mixed together. Maybe I'm more of a mixer. It looks better when it comes out, but when you start to do that, it kind of looks disgusting. That's how it looks in the end, you know, you just have to accept it. It tastes a lot better than it looks. It's juicy, healthy, delicious. <laughs> That's kind of what's so great about this place. The vegetables are always so fresh. There's always there a lot. There is somebody back there chopping Yeah, the yeah, someone's doing their job. And so those are my favorite, the, kind of my go-to dishes. And at this point, the iPads know me. There's a few indoor seatings. It's just, you know, up at the counter. So there right. is some outdoor seating when it's nice out on those few San Francisco I, days. We had like, your dish, and we yeah. enjoyed it. Then we went to Original Joe's. Oh, man. <laughs> we were hungry. <laughs> and I had promised I was buying them lunch. See, the, the hard part is I can't get into a food coma. Yeah. So you go, you go have lunch, and then you go sit at your cubicle and you're like, if I had a big original Joe's dish, I, yeah. couldn't, I wouldn't handle it. I'd be sleeping under my cubicle. So. <laughs> she gets two meals out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> and <laughs> drinks and things like that. I mean, it's, you know. I've gotten the mango guava, which is an easy treat, and it's so reasonably priced, under a oh, dollar yeah. for the sparkling drink. And Ten it's bucks, great, you're out of it. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's a great deal. You don't deal. tip anybody. Our bill was 25 and my parking was 18. Yeah. <laughs> 18, I hit with 40. <laughs> so you're you should have parked in the way there, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. If you want a healthy, fast, casual spot in downtown San Francisco, Eats is your place. Okay, and Joe? Absolutely. If you want a fast, casual place to go and you're not interested in a big lunch, I go with you on this and it's healthy. Okay, Lisa. High tech adventure, really fresh, and don't expect to get a place to sit. <laughs> okay. If you would like to try Itza, it's on Spear Street at Howard in San Francisco. There isn't a phone number. You just log in when you arrive. Open weekdays from 11 to 5 p.m. and reservations, of course, are not accepted. The average tab per person without drinks is under $15. It's been said that vodka tastes like nothing, therefore it mixes well with everything. And let's face it, everyone orders it. Made for centuries and considered the water of life, vodka is a staple around the world. As in other spirits, the source of water is an important distinction. Some vodkas are even crafted with glacial ice. But you also have to consider its base. Vodka is distilled from many things, including grapes, potatoes, corn, and grain. No matter the origin, distilled and filtered two, three, or even six times, producing a clean and smooth spirit is the goal. Nowadays, flavored vodkas are all the rage, but I'm a purist. Vodka, please. Shaken, not stirred. Thick steaks, substantial sides, and an amazing wine list make Joe's Spot the place for dry-aged steak cooked to perfection. In San Francisco, it's called Oso Steakhouse. The inspiration for the design of Oso is 1930s Art Deco. So you'll see a lot of nice warm woods, etched glass backing to our booths. So a lot of times I'm asked what the dress code is, and I'm delighted to tell them that it's actually anything from jeans to a tuxedo, and you won't be uncomfortable in either of those. I'm Charlie Hamilton, the general manager at Oso Steakhouse, top of Knob Hill, Californian Jones. Oso is Italian for bone, and the name of the restaurant is taken from that because the featured cut here is the bone-in filet. The secret here at Oso, we cook all of our steaks here on an iron skillet and a white wine, butter, garlic, hint of rosemary sauce. And with that style, we get a perfectly seared steak that you're not gonna find from a grill. A lot of times people will be sitting at the bar with a perfect Manhattan, and they realize that the inspiration for the bar was taken from the movie The Shining, and then you get a whole different perspective. Our bar menu is classic cocktail-driven, 
perfect chilled martinis. A Negroni is also very popular. There's an extensive wine list, and if you're in the mood to bring your own bottle, it's only $10 for corkage. The night out at Oso is several courses. You can take your time. There's no rush. We like you to set the pace. All right, from vegetarian to meat loving. <laughs> it's also one of your favorite it's steakhouses. It's the favorite steakhouse in the city by far. Ballet parking, walk in. The food itself is unbelievable. I mean, the steaks come out of filet on bone, cooked to perfection. The sides are unbelievable. Everything. You're making me hungry already. Uh, I'm a meat lover. Well, I'm a meat girl. The best thing is I'm they have the kettle steak. bread. They bake their own bread in the kettle there, and that's outstanding. All right, well, I'm going to start, Lisa, with you. Where did you start when you went to Oso? Yeah, so we walked in, and we didn't know what to expect about this place. And we were like, wow, it's like a step back in time. You yeah. know, it's got this yeah. kind of retro feel, the art deco. But then we got set at this row of those boardroom chairs that swivel, <laughs> yeah. and we were like, this is cool. So we sat down, and you know, you can kind of like hide yourself from the other tables if you want. And we started with the chorizo, cheese bread. They make homemade mm. sourdough loaf. It's got the cheese on top that's like already cooked in and then they serve it with a knife and a spoon, which is what you need, and it's like crack. I mean, that bread should be illegal. Yeah. It's yeah, so good. Yeah, the presentation is so beautiful on the cast iron skillet. Yeah, it's that, hot it's on, that it's on the skillet. Yeah, one of my favorite dishes of the night. There are yeah. some calories in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> watch out. I don't eat bread, and my husband and I, we said, we're just gonna get it, and we're gonna eat a little bit of it. We ate the whole thing, and I looked at that skillet, and I said to him, I said, I swear to God, if you order one of those right now, I will eat it again. <laughs> like, it was that good. Yeah, and yeah that's crazy. Everything dish. you lost when you went to eat Pizza, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You lost everything. Yeah. Pizza. You can come and have the Eat cheese it, bread. pizza for a week, right. and, then and then walk you your way Oso. up Knob Hill, yeah, have exactly. dinner at Oso, and then you, you spend a few days walking it off. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We actually started with the asparagus soup, which was my favorite dish. It was so perfect. It had great flavors, and they had these crispy, kind of super buttery croutons on top. Great spices, so amazing, and it was a good portion size for and then the your price. Dice. You had cheese, bread, yeah. and, and then I was <laughs> asparagus. You're full. Yeah, you're full yeah. already. <laughs> so what else did you have, Lisa? We tried the um, crab salmon crostini with the avocado, and it felt a little disjointed to me. It was like you tried to take a bite, and the salmon um, was like a smoked salmon, and that piece was so big that you couldn't bite it, but then the avocado would fall off and some of the crab would fall off. So it, that was okay, but I mean, everything else was amazing. My husband had the other appetizer was the skillet shrimp. Oh, so that's, that's what I thought was so great about this restaurant is that it had this kind of simple preparations for the food. A lot of things cooked on these skillets, but it's very, very flavorful. So the shrimp were right on the skillet and with a little herb butter on the side, and it was absolutely delicious. To You're start. over there going, yep, the shrimp. We did the, the same thing. We ordered a skillet and had the shrimp as the appetizer and probably 60 of them out there. And so those are very good appetizers that open up. For okay, give me your lowdown on the steak. You want to, in my opinion, you want to get the filet on the bone and get the biggest one because you can take some home if you want. Cooked to perfection. We went there with four other couples and everybody agreed the same thing. It was outstanding. For the steaks, my husband had the ribeye. Mm -hmm. And the ribeye next to it just says big on the menu. <laughs> and he's like, I want to have that. So came out in the skillet. Again, amazing presentation. It's sizzling. The skin on the steak is like crispy and crunched with the salt and the, the butter. And we think it was one of the best ribeyes we've ever had. I'm also from the Midwest, grew up in Kansas. I'm, I, I know my, my black Angus. And I know my, my steaks. meat. <laughs> yeah. And I still, I think this is one of the best ribeyes, my husband and I agree, that we've ever had. Um, we ordered a bottle of wine. They do have a great wine list. You know, good selection. The service, I would say, was, I mean, I saw other servers that I felt like were really into it, and maybe I just got somebody who was a little bit off, but when I like to go into a restaurant and just kind of put myself in the server's hands, what do you recommend? What should I have? Mm -hmm. And everything. And all he did is say, the steaks. <laughs> the steaks oh. are really good, and yeah. it's like, but he didn't say an appetizer, and he didn't ask me, you know, about the wine. And I was surprised how eclectic the customers were. You know, you go in, and it's just like black and white checkered floors and retro, and just that ambience. You you immediately think very high end, but then there's people in their t-shirts and sneakers and touristy. So it can be regular, it can be tourists. Yeah, it can be, I know. mean, it's definitely, you know, right. well known, but my server was a little frazzled. I think there was a lot of people in the house, so she couldn't like handle the influx of customers, I yeah. think. And then we shared the bone in New York steak. We got it medium rare and it was cooked to perfection just like the great crispy edge to it. There were a few grizzly parts, so I couldn't eat that, so I was kind of <laughs> bummed about that. Like, 
why I want as much as I can get for you know well, you can't how pick much up the bone and not yeah <laughs> for my money you know I'm you know compared to itza not I, mean, I knew what I was going into in a steakhouse <laughs> and then we got um, a red wine for dinner to go with our steak um, and actually I found the list to be pretty reasonable price like we could handle that we mm -hmm. saw some good options and what about dessert I love anything that says crunch yeah, yeah. in the title I go for it so it was the vanilla caramel crunch cake we were so excited even though we were mm. completely full by then and it was good but the bummer was it wasn't crunchy oh. and it's like you said crunch in the title I'm expecting some crunch. Oh, crunch it was it was good though the salt and the caramel I could crunch. go there just to get their chocolate mousse and it's so good that when I first thing I walk in I tell the waiter just hold me two chocolate mousses whatever <laughs> you do just hold them set them aside they're that good to me all right this is your spot Joe wrap it up for us Destination in San Francisco, best steakhouse in town. Jerry's hit it out of the park. And Lisa. Very funky ambiance, but very interesting. Um, simple food, but extremely flavorful. And I definitely say come here and order the cheese bread and you can go back on your diet next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Megan. If you want to kind of throw back to the old classic steakhouses of yesteryear, this is the place to go in San Francisco. All right, if you would like to try Oso Steakhouse, it's on California at Jones Street in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-771-6776. It's open every evening for dinner. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $60. So I want to thank my guests on this week's show. Lisa Matson, Toast Sonoma's exceptional food and wine at Villette in Healdsburg. Megan Clark, who returns again and again to her fully automated, healthy vegetarian lunch spot in San Francisco at Itza. And Joe Martin scores a tasty touchdown with perfectly aged meat at Oso Steakhouse in San Francisco. Now we really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the delicious wines we're drinking today. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. And cheers to you guys. Thank you. Woohoo! Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has over 250 natural stone choices and over 10,000 stone slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Natural mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, open source engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers at walmartlabs.com. Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Online at safecatch.com.